Hey, what's up, guys? Just doing some uh, book reviews on my uh, vacation. Uh, this was led to me by Jersey Mac. Thanks. This is uh, Mind World of Trouble. It's a uh, line of verse from A. E. Houseman. I, my my thoughts were of trouble uh, by Peter Kemp. Essentially, a British or English man who, in the Spanish Civil War, actually did the opposite of most of his. Uh, countrymen who volunteered uh, he fought for Franco he fought for the nationalists uh, uh, and really really good book um, uh, probably even better than Homage to Catalonia which is you know you can get that in, in Barnes and Noble and a book I like by Orwell about him fighting with the uh, the POUM uh, in the Spanish Civil War <laughs> of course part of the problem that was how the POUM got uh, <laughs> Basically uh, annihilated by the uh, the, uh, the Soviet-backed uh, mainstream uh, communists and Republicans, which really soured her on things. But uh, this book is uh, much better. There's much more combat in this. Uh, Peter also is interesting. Uh, he uh, is a, essentially a conservative. So obviously, when the Second World War broke out, he was for you know his mother, uh, you know England fighting for the crown and country against the Germans uh, who he comes across in this uh, and he also I think he fought in the Pacific he wrote a book about being in the Pacific fighting the Japanese so now of course the first thing I think of is that uh, uh, was Peter was he a, a spy right. not for the uh, you know the communists of which he was suspected uh, the Spaniards didn't really trust uh, English volunteers for them since the majority of Anglo volunteers went for the communists uh, the Republicans, uh, was he a spy? Was he sent there to gather information? Uh, I guess we'll never know. Uh, but it is it's still interesting regardless. He has a very interesting, fair analysis of a lot of things going on. Because many of the same things in Homeless to Catalonia, you have like the, you know, how cold it gets in the mountain regions in Spain, the lice, uh, the disorganization, the, uh, the villagers... The hospitality of the poorest Spaniards and uh, wine, uh, the different qualities of wine, which uh, the, even the worst wine was made to taste better by the specific wine skins that the Spaniards would use. It was kind of like a squeeze bottle at the time. Apparently it made the wine, even if it was kind of not good, uh, taste better. Uh, and they definitely tried to get their hands on it whenever they could. Also, Peter, he brings up the, the faction in the Spanish Civil War. It doesn't get mentioned as much. The Carlists, uh, he is uh, obviously a very conservative person. He doesn't really particularly like the Falangists, okay, which is to say the third positionists, right? the, the Spanish fascists, if you want to use that term. Although they were all called the fascists by the, uh, the opposition. Uh, the Carlists with their red berets predating the communists uh, it was, uh, and fighting in the Carlist Wars, of which they... Their side always lost, and still they were ready to fight. Traditional, very uh, or you know ultra Catholics. Uh, it was interesting to see that part. The Raquetas. It was interesting to see them. Obviously, you know them and the Phalangists also went on to be in the Blue Division. He also talks about the, uh, you know, the combat. Most of it being light infantry, a lot of mortar action. The very underrated portable artillery, the infantry, the mortars. Uh, and of course the tanks, early tanks and early airplane uh, action uh, yeah it's just a recommended book get your hands on this uh, it's funny too how the Spanish they had uh, ultra catholic priests in combat like you know the chaplain let's say of a military unit uh, and the one he had was particularly bloodthirsty catholic who was always very brave uh, no weapons exhorting uh, the uh, the men to kill the communists uh, and the fact that he didn't particularly like Peter because he was English and he was Protestant apparently many of the Spaniards were the, of the impression that all Protestants were also Freemasons which is funny because the other notable uh, volunteer that Peter mentions an Anglo-Irish Presbyterian uh, you know Northern Irish person and it was also a Freemason and he mentioned to the guy not to not to Volunteer that information. Uh, eventually, Peter joins the Spanish Legion, okay, a more, a more professional military organization. 
And, as, and the combat gets even more intense. There's a real hate for the international brigades in this uh, because they did help to turn the tide. Right? That one uh, overrated American writer I forgot the name of was, uh, was the Abraham Lincoln Brigade. And of course, the Canadians and the English uh, had, uh, the British had their own. Of course, you have tons of Italians. A lot of funny little anecdotes with a lot of pretty grim combat. One of his commanders goes on to lead the Blue Division in Spain. Uh, a bunch of other guys get killed uh, by attrition. Uh, there's a funny story about Italians. Uh, one Italian uh, tank guy with those little two-man tanks was denied entrance to a club. So he was angry about it. He drove his tank through the club <laughs> onto the dance floor. I thought that was funny. Uh, there's an also uh, there's, there's a lot of it's just it's really reading it. It's a it's a very good book. Regardless, maybe this guy was a uh, a spy, uh, an intelligence gatherer, let's say, especially the way he writes. But it doesn't change the fact that I'm sure what he went through was. Uh, everything he did described was uh, genuine, and it is basically uh, proven, you know, as shown by the records. Uh, the Roman, the romanticism the left has of the Spanish Civil War because they lost. It's very interesting. It's a, it's a nuanced sort of thing. Uh, Franco, of course, uh, did everything he could uh, to uh, marginalize the phalangists, you know, the third positionists, who are more in line with at least, you know, uh, 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 sentimental-wise at this point. Uh, and what uh, what has essentially happened in those years since the war, the 80 years since the war? They've thrown an altar, the church, the conservatives, the, uh, they all lost the peace. Spain uh, is still a pleasant country, Mediterranean country, but, you know, thoroughly it's been sort of socialist-dominated to the point where they actually disinterred Franco's body just a couple of years ago. Uh, like they've done here, of, of Confederates. Uh, very disgraceful. And also showing, too, uh, even though Peter is not a fan of the Phalangists, he mentions how the Phalangists were very big on trying to remedy the social uh, inequities, once again, uh, the helping the poor in Spain, which the Catholic Church would help with charity, but, of course, uh, you know, uh, there were other things involved with that. One of the biggest things I'll just lead, I'll just end this with the biggest problem I had with conservatism, as particularly I remember when that when like guys like Glenn Beck were following the words of Jonah Goldberg uh, about uh, liberal fascism, and the guy was 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 bad mouthing it, you know everyone from Teddy Roosevelt to everything you could think of. Uh, none of these guys ever addressed something, and this is a problem with conservatism. What were the communists, the anarchists, the leftists, what were they appealing to that was so universal uh, and, and you could say materialist and non-religious, but these communists, these international brigades, these reds, these anarchists, these republicans, they fought damn hard. Okay? Uh, they, they lost essentially because they, weren't, they didn't have the military uh, uh, who were better soldiers on their side, uh, but they fought damn hard for people who were supposedly atheists and didn't believe in you know, a transcendent quality, but they fought damn hard, right? Uh, and this is the problem with conservatism, I find, that they don't acknowledge what is the legitimate claims, materialist or otherwise, that the uh, Marxists are, are appealing to, and that third positionists were, trying, were also appealing to, but then were undercut by men like Franco. And I'm not, I'm not insulting Franco. Um, you know, I, I respect Franco. I think it's a disgrace what they did to his... Uh, his remains, uh, very ghoulish, but but par for the course. Anyway, good book regardless how you get your hands on this. Thanks, Jersey Mac. Uh, check it out if you can. Later.